Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 8th of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your life as best you possibly can. And uh, let's uh, get on with the game of Sudoku in a short time. That will be the Guardian's hard level game for uh, Friday. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to play other games today, but I'll try and see if I can. Um, in news, it's being reported that um, there is righteous indignation in Uvalde, uh, but from the parents, because um, just yesterday, um, the local city report into the horrific massacre of uh, at the school there uh, has become infamous, of course. Um, just... Um, uh, exonerated the uh, police uh, even though previous um, investigations have showed just how long the police waited before taking any action and you know basically there was just uh, confusion and fear amongst the police as to why they didn't take any action earlier and waited such a long time and more people died needlessly um, uh, yeah, apparently the uh, local city council said, uh, oh, yeah, they did a good job. They did okay. And uh, parents were very angry. And it, it seems that re the, the person providing the report even kind of partially blamed the parents for turning up and conf making the issue more confused. Um, I mean, turning up at the event. I mean, at the Valdi shooting, of course. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to see why parents would be very angry. Uh, when it seems that, you know, I mean, they can't have been doing a good job, can they? I mean, yeah, these situations are always terrible, of course, and difficult and confused, but um, it seems that other previous reports have shown the failures that were uh, made by police, and it seems this one looks a bit of a, looks like a bit of a whitewash, really. Okay, uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the... Uh, as I said, the Guardian's hard level game. I'm going to start with fives blocking like this. Let's have a five there, shall we? Now, five blocking across here and down here means five has to be in one of these two squares. So blocking up, blocking up, and across there. We'll get our five there. <clears throat> We have two going up here and down here and across there. Okay, let's just go through um, sequentially and see if anything um, is really obvious or not. Like the three blocking across here. And three blocking down here and across here, which puts three into one of these two squares, blocking up. Three up here, three across there. And there's our three. Three across this way and this way and up here. So there's our three again. Are we missing a six? I think we are. I think we're absent six. Okay. Don't panic. We'll get there. Seven blocking up here and across there puts seven into one of these two squares, blocking back in this direction, and a seven up there. That will mean that means that must be a seven.
8 across this way and 8 down here puts 8 into one of these two squares blocking down and 8 across there Okay, 9 blocking like this and this puts 9 into one of these two squares, so that means this can't be 9. 9 over here means this can't be 9. And 9 up here means this can't be 9. So that's going to be a 9 there. And then 9 across here and up and down gives us 9 in that square. 9 across here and across here and down there means that's a 9. And 9 going down to the bottom and across here gives us a 9 there. That's about it for the 9s. We've still got them to go in these places. We'll go back to 1 and see if anything else has changed. Well, hang on a second. Let's see what's missing in here. What's our missing digit? Uh, I can't remember. 6 is missing, isn't it? 6. So we need a 6 and we need a 2. Any help on 6 or 2? Uh, yeah, well, let's see. The 2 blocks like this. So that's going to be 2. So this can't be 2, that's got to be 2. This then is our first 6. Right, let's start going through again. Hold on, because we've got 5 blocking those squares, so we'll put 5 there. Missing numbers over here are 1 and 4. We've got 4 blocking down. There's our 4. There's our 1. 4 going up to the top here. And across there gives us a 4 there. We don't have any completed digits just yet. We've got two across here, so that puts two into one of these two squares there, blocking down here, two across there. And there's our two. Three blocking here, so there's our three, three across this way, three down there, there's another three. And that is our first completed digit, actually. Threes are now out of the way. Oh, I need a four to finish this block here. Four and five block this square here. That's going to put four and five here, and that will leave us with our six there. Uh, back this way, the missing number is eight. And we've got eights going up here and across there like so. There's another eight. Uh, I said this is four and five, right? So five blocking down here. There's the five. And here's the four. Four blocking up here and across and across will give us four in that square. Four up here and up here will mean four is now finished. And the last number to place here is a seven. Seven going up here and across there will mean that's a seven. And seven up here and across there gives us no, not our final digit, 7. Ah, oh, we've got another one to get here. This is surely the last. Yes. Um, right. What's missing down here? Uh, 6, 9, is it? I think it is. Oh, we've got one number to go up here. So that's got to be a six, hasn't it? Nine blocks across here. That gives us nine in this square. Uh, the nine blocking down here means that this is a nine. This then will be our six. Six blocking up here gives us six in that square. This is a one. Still need a one there.
five blocking up here and five across there means that's the final digit five how are we doing on six can we ah so two and six block across here so this is a pair of two and six in those squares so this has to be one and eight oh i could have seen that from the missing numbers good night <laughs> in this row that's one and eight so that's going to be one and eight and cannot be so we've got the eight blocking here right uh, so in this column this is the only position where eight can go that's our eight and this would be our one here and our one blocking now gives us one there and one across here and here means that is our one and one going up here and across there there's our digit one that's finished now um, two blocks this square here so in this column that must be the position for two two blocks back that way there's our final digit two here we need a six there we need a six here we need a six six also blocks across there giving us the six there and that's finished and there's just digit eight to go and that's it so very straightforward even though there was one digit missing like i said don't panic <laughs> Uh, that's a straightforward uh, hard level game from The Guardian for Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.